No, I think what you're seeing obviously today was a bit of a reversal in this nearer term rotation. But our view is this consolidation has been a rotational move, not an indication of a big top or that we're late cycle or anything like that. Tech has just been the source of funding. And I think we're seeing it bounce back a little bit. I've been thinking a lot with tomorrow is the one year anniversary of the market lows of 2020, how different year one of a bull market is versus year two. We bounced almost 75 percent off of the lows from late March of last year when everybody was asking, well, what is the market looking at? Is the market totally disconnected from the economy? Now we're starting year two. Year two tends to be a little more frustrating for investors. The narrative is clear. There's consensus on the recovery, but markets don't move in a straight line. And I think we have to remember that as investors. But I think this rotation continues uh, by sector, by size, by style, and by geography as markets grind higher over the course of this year, albeit maybe with a bit more volatility. By size, Marcy, wanted to pick up on, on that call because I believe you're a fan of small caps, which underperformed today closing down almost a percent and have, have been a little bit weaker lately, though they are up the most of all of the four big averages from that March low a year ago, up 135 percent. Still a buy? Yeah, so I would still buy on weakness in small caps. We're overweight both large and small in the U.S. right now. I think there's three C's driving this market. The consumer, they've got fuel in their tank, stimulus, savings, and they're not waiting for the economy to reopen. You know, despite the weakness in travel stocks today, TSA checkpoint crossings are up, restaurant reservations are up. The second one, though, is CapEx. And that's where I think you're going to see the benefic uh, small cap as the beneficiaries, strong PMIs, rising commodity prices. But don't forget about tech because long-term business spending plans focus on cybersecurity, data, uh, the cloud. And then finally, I think you have to remember the yield curve is steepening. That's pointing to an accommodative Fed. Um, I think that's positive for a lot of sectors as well, um, financials, materials, energy. But don't forget those semiconductors. So I would continue to like small cap. I'd be buyers on the weakness. And broadly, I'd be buyers on market weakness right now. Because like I said, I don't think this is the top of the market. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.